G'day everyone, welcome to this week's video, or this month's video. <laughs> now, uh, it's been a while, I haven't filmed in a long time, that's because a lot of stuff has been going down in Sydney, um, and it's been quite hard to get out, and I kind of lost my motivation for a while there. Now, in this video, we're going to be talking about gear, and the gear that I use now, one year later, after my last gear video which was in 2020 this is my update video for 2021 sydney has been in the midst of a big lockdown um, covid had a big breakout here and basically wasn't allowed to go out for a long time uh, or i was worried i'd get fined if i did so i haven't been out in a long time and the whole lockdown kind of caused me to lose my motivation I lost my job I haven't worked in a long time and I haven't done much photography in a long time and I also had an accident with my hard drive almost lost every single photo got it all back thank god that's another story to tell I also got eye surgery so I don't wear glasses anymore that's something to get used to uh, <laughs> and yeah other than that I'm hoping to get back into the groove of making videos maybe not one a week but I will get there eventually and thank you for all of your patience. I know that I do have a few subscribers that watch my videos weekly. Um, and I want to thank you guys so much for all your support. I even got a comment asking how I was. And yeah, that makes me very happy. So thank you and let's get straight into it. Now I have actually fully upgraded my gear since my last video as in every single piece of kit in my gear has been upgraded which is finally you know i've been wanting this for a long 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 time this is in my full kit my full future kit yet i haven't got two more lenses and there's a few other things i want to get like a new tripod and stuff like that but uh yeah we're just gonna go through what i have for the end of 2021 because it is getting close to the end of 2021 now now uh let's just start with um my tripod so this is the same tripod as i had uh last year the manfrotto 190 go still really heavy um still don't fully love it because uh, it's so heavy and i want to get a gazelle uh, TC7 I think it is which is a good landscape photography tripod I have upgraded my tripod head though this is quite new I got this during lockdown uh, this is called a panoramic head and it's got a bubble level on the inside here you can see there it's got a nice bubble level so you can level it from um, from looking down on the tripod which means um, that you can get the legs uh, level for a panoramic image not all tripods have that my last tripod head didn't have that so that meant that i couldn't really tell yeah it wasn't right in the center i couldn't really tell if the legs were perfectly level which meant my some of my panoramic photos weren't all the time level and it's got another bubble level up here and this head is fantastic for uh, panoramics because it's got basically just three features pan which is very fluid um, which is very nice for panoramics you can be very careful and up and down another swivel head up the top here which is literally what you need for for doing panoramas and then it's also got a tension uh, tension tightener here which is awesome this is Arca Swiss so it works with my new small rig L bracket which is fantastic and I actually had quite a few issues coming up to the end of the life of my last head. The um, head started to lose grip of the camera, which was an accident waiting to happen. So I thought, why not spend the money, get it done now before something happens and I regret not doing it. So that's my main tripod. I've got another smaller Saruri tripod, which I don't use that often these days unless I have a lot of walking to do. My new bag, now my bag, my last bag was a lower pro and it was really cheap, not very good, not very good for my back. I noticed when I was watching back some of my videos, I was hunched a lot of the time when I was wearing it and it wasn't a good look. Now I got the Shimoda, I'm gonna try and get it in here. The Shimoda X, X50, 
which is a great bag. I've loved it so far. And it's got it's great because it's got a lot of back support. It's got a chest strap and a waist strap, which I use all the time because my kit is quite heavy. It fits everything I need for now. I've actually ordered the large camera insert because this is only the medium camera insert and it's not fitting everything at the moment. There's a lot of stuff above the camera insert, which is a little bit annoying when you're trying to set up quickly. We'll get on to my camera. So my new camera is the Sony a7 III, which is great and I've loved it so far. Coming from the Nikon D3300, this camera is insanely good and I love it. Who doesn't know about the Sony a7 III? I mean, the a7 IV is coming out and I am looking at possibly getting that in the future. Uh, so we'll see what happens there. But I've also got small rig L bracket. It's a solid L bracket and it's even got this awesome feature here for the battery because one of the most biggest annoyances with my three-legged thing one on my Nikon was I had to take the L bracket off every time I wanted to replace the SD card or the battery. And so it, it lifts open so that you can get access to your battery pack and your SD card pack, which is awesome. And this also slides across, which is great. And it comes with like a magnetic tool for undoing knobs and whatever so that you're never found that you can't undo a tool it's always great to have those kinds of tools and on this lens i have the samyang 135 f2 lens now i actually haven't used this lens all that much it's a fantastic lens and i know that it's for astrophotography i bought it for astrophotography getting closer uh, to the stars i guess so that i can do some more photos of nebulae and individual uh, star clusters stuff like that because astrophotography is something that i really really enjoy and i'm finding more and more that i want something that can get me closer to the stars speaking about tools i've got a three-legged thing tripod tool a uh, allen key here and then it's got this little bit here as well it can act as kind of a bottle opener if you're ever finding that you need one and i have used it get on to my pride and joy other than my sony a7 III, which is my new lens i've had this for months and i still can't believe that i've got it to be honest and this is the sony 16 to 35 f 2.8 g master lens and this is a fantastic lens i mean who doesn't know about this lens it's a beautiful lens i know that for sure i haven't yet used it that much because of lockdown and i got it inside of lockdown and yeah i'm gonna i can't wait to use this on the stars and just regular landscapes it's gonna be stunning every time i have used this lens which is a little bit it, it just amazes me it makes me so happy every time i see the image on the back of my screen and yeah it's got autofocus manual focus sony makes fantastic lenses and it's it's a beautiful lens this was one of the pieces of kit that was in my dream setup video which i did a few few weeks oh no a few months back now <laughs> i've got on here a, a magnetic case lens cap and that's to do with my whole new magnetic filter setup which i will go into pretty soon yeah so all my uh, all my lenses except for the samyang because the lens hood doesn't strap back on if it's got on there because it's 77 millimeter that's something else i need to go into has got case magnetic filter adapters on it so that i can just chuck on a magnetic filter really quickly fantastic lens love it can't wait to use it more and a video will be coming out hopefully within the next few months where i use this lens on the stars same with the samyang and actually with my star tracker that I haven't used since I bought it, which was years ago. So I can't wait to use that once I get out of lockdown as well. Now I've also got another lens in here. It is not a Sony lens, even though it's in a Sony lens case. It is my Nikon 24-70 f2.8 and I use this with an adapter when I am using it on my Sony. But my next lens that I'm going to buy is actually going to be the Mark II G Master. Uh, Sony lens if it's if it's true that that's coming out. I I think it is 
um, but apparently it's meant to be a lot smaller and lighter. So I'm waiting for that lens to come out to buy it before, so that I don't buy the, you know, the Mark 1 and find that it's too big. Now this is just a lens warmer for astrophotography. You just plug it into a USB plug and it keeps your lens warm so it doesn't fog up under the stars. Uh, rocket blower, just get through all the crap first. Nice uh, case lens cloth. These things are great. It's not focusing. You don't need it to focus. Head torch for astrophotography and whenever I'm shooting at night. And it's got a red setting as well for astrophotography. My new wireless remote. Feels a bit plasticky and cheap, but I mean, it does the job. You can program it to do a time lapse or whatever you want. And I mean, that's all I need it to do. If this fails, because I find that <laughs> sometimes these things fail quite often, and I'm always finding that I am on location when it fails. I've got a fail safe remote here that plugs into my camera as well, just in case I need it, which I haven't yet because I haven't actually been shooting with it. Um, I've also got, this is a new piece of kit as well, Nissi. It's a Nissi remote, Nissi wireless remote. It's all controlled within the app. You input what filter you're using, 10 stop, 16 stop, five stop, uh, eight stop, six stop, whatever. You input your aperture, your ISO and it'll calculate how long the exposure time needs to be and it will uh, do the long exposure for you as in it will set up the timer which is great I just wanted to try it out I, w I wasn't really sure if I I don't think I really need it but I it seemed cool so I wanted to try it out I do a lot of long exposures so yeah and it's cheap so I mean why not and these are my favorite things they're just Zeiss um, lens cloths, which are great. I actually looked for them on Amazon, but I couldn't find them. I think I got these at my local camera store. Yeah, they, they actually seem to be quite difficult to find, which is a bit silly. If anyone knows how to get them, let me know, because I am I am I have been looking for them. Now, we'll get on to the filters. I have actually got two filter cases. I upgraded my whole filter case in one go with... It was very expensive, and... I'm very happy I did because this filter kit is going to last me years. They're scratch proof, uh, shatter proof. They're, they wouldn't shatter, but they might get scratched. But I don't think they will get scratched, to be honest. They are the Case Wolverine Magnetic Filters. And these, other than my Sony lens and my Sony camera, these are my pride and joy. These make me very happy because they're a beautiful set of filters and I can't believe I have a whole magnetic filter setup to be honest this is my dream filter setup now this I have a lot of filters this is my natural night filter and that'll just cut out any uh well not any but a lot of light pollution and it gives it more of a, a natural night feeling as the name implies yeah and all these filters I keep inside of my case filter pouches that came with two of the one of the kits that I bought. I bought a kit with a bunch of different filters and then I bought an extra pouch as well so that I could hold them in. But to be honest, I mean they're beautiful pouches, but they're not my favorite because they don't have the tripod attachment here. They only have these key ring attachments. I am looking for ones that fit my 82 millimeter ones that look nice but also have the little filter the, the little tripod leg attachment because there's nowhere for me to attach these two and i need easy access to these because i'm using them all the time so there you go case let's get a filter case that's 80 filter pouch that's 82 millimeters and has a tripod attachment on the back that'd be good uh, yeah, so all my filters are 82 millimeters because that is the, the widest the filter thread is ever going to get, except for my 135 f2, and once I get it, my 70 to 200 f2.8, which are both 77 millimeters. So I have a 70, uh, 77 to 82 millimeter step up ring that I just put on it, and then to be honest, I could take off the lens hood and put it on there and put my extra case. Uh, my extra case lens cap on top of that which would just simplify everything but I haven't been out in a while so I don't need to at the moment and then my next filter here 
ND64000 is my 16 stop. I don't think I actually need this because this is obviously very dark and there's not many cases that I would use this. Just really prolong that smoothness and the and the and the sense of motion within the photo. I can do that with this. This will probably get me upwards of four minute exposures so it's not often that i'd use this but i haven't ever tried something like that i love my 10 stop so why not try 16 stop and that's why i got it just kind of to experiment but i can't wait to use it oh uh, this is my 77 to 82 millimeter step up ring this is how the filters work basically you put it on the lens the attachment and then you get the filter this is just a lens cap the magnetic filter works exactly the same as a lens cap and you put it on like that and it just clicks in it's not likely that it'll come off it's not going to fall off it doesn't feel like it would as long as you've got it on properly but they do say don't use it in high winds because apparently it can come off but i don't think it would it would have to be very very high winds it just works like that and it's fantastic it makes things so much quicker let's just get just get my natural night filter and this is just the adapter that you put on your lens each filter comes with it get your lens just got my sony here and boom simple as that and you can stack them on as many as you want and it's just quick and easy and for the polarizer if you're using a circular polarizer you just turn it like anything is normal it doesn't actually have a turnable thing in the lens you just turn it like so and they're all just kept neatly there's no organization or anything but i have been wanting to organize them properly they're all just kept neatly in there and it's an 82 millimeter size filter pouch so they're not gonna, they're not likely to move around in there so they're well protected i haven't actually opened these <laughs> this is my circular polarizer as i said before you just put it on and you just turn it and it's that easy it's so nice so I've got my three stop here, ND8, which is three stop. And it's just, yeah, as I said before, magnetic. My next filter, so this is my six stop. And of course, probably one of my most commonly used in my videos is my 10 stop filter. And these are all magnetic, as I said before. And it's fantastic. They're so good. I, everyone says case is so good. And they are. They really are. It's a shame that you can't really get them here in Australia. I had to get them ordered um, from the UK off the official website, which is fine. Like, it just took a while to get here. Massive step up from Nissi. Love Nissi, but just the whole magnetic thing makes things a lot easier. I've also got a, another lens cap as well. And I might actually have to get a couple more once I get other lenses for other cameras and my whole 82 millimeter filter up filter setup works with all of my lenses it's so easy so nice to be able to just swap filters whenever and not have to screw them on it just makes things so much faster so that when you're on location and you're shooting a beautiful sunrise with changing light that changes within seconds you can swap filters very quickly and capture the image quicker than having to screw it on. That's pretty much all my kit at the moment. That's all my photography kit at least. Um, I haven't really done much to my video kit yet. I, It's not my priority. My video kit isn't my priority at the moment. My priority is my photography kit and my Canon M50 and the microphone that I've got at the moment works well. I'm looking at getting a wireless go at some point for wireless audio because when I find when I'm on location there's a lot of surround sound around me like people talking stuff like that I have to do quite a bit of noise reduction in post which is a little bit annoying because it stuffs up the audio quality but that's a thing for another video thank you for your patience as well with this video coming out it's been a long time coming and I hope to get back into the groove of making videos again soon thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one